Wathoni and Brito finally get freaky under the duvet. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To all returning subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you're just joining me for the very first time, thank you so much. Please, if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and guess what, guys? We're about to have a ride of a lifetime. So I'm going to let you know how this Worthoni and Brighto thing started. So last night during the Truth or Dare game, there was a particular place where Priest was going to leak off something from Worthoni's buddy, but Worthoni actually wanted Brighto to be present because she's been giving that guy green light a lot of time, and the guy has not succumbed to her pressure. So she wanted Brighto to be there while praise leaks of the stuff from my body and she wanted to see the reaction of Brighto. Hey, 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 hey. I must do this thing. <laughs> oh, that's what? 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 So for me personally, I kind of see that Brighto was actually jealous of what Praise was doing to Wathoni and at the end of the day, like they did the previous night, they eventually found themselves in the same bed and this was what happened. So finally, Watoni has actually gotten Brito to commit. So we're just going to watch and see how this ship sails from this moment. Now my next gist is about Tolany Badge and Prince. So during the Truth or Dare game last night, Tolany Badge was asked to pick two guys she was going to have a threesome with. And then she called Prince to come up and Prince refused and Tolany Badge was embarrassed for herself. No, come back to this. Drinking will start. That's where you drink. Not now. Brighton. I feel that the refusal of Prince not coming to the bed to act the threesome part was like the topping because there were a lot of other issues between herself and Prince that she's been piling up that she has not gotten to talk about but that one was the one that was the icing on the cake. So at the end of the game, Tolani Baj and Prince were in the conversation and you could see Tolani Baj telling Prince that you know what, I know you're Mr. Nigeria, I'm also Tolani Baj and there are some things that I will literally not take outside of this house if you really know me. You made food, right? And I was calling you. I said, hey, food is ready. There was no ginger, no nonsense. I said, come eat with me. He said, okay, you know, let me get dressed. I'll be done in like 20 seconds or whatever. I came over, you were still like brushing your head. I said, ah, let's eat together. And then you just looked at me like, the look was, I said, I'm coming. And you kept on brushing, like, you didn't move, no sense of urgency. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, ah, she just cooked food. She wants to eat this food. That's, we just, like, doing bad boy for me. Like, I know you are Mr. Nigeria, but me too, I'm telling you badge, like, you cannot use me to catch crews, right? That's what I don't like. Like, I don't know what your plan is, if you are strategy, I don't know, but I'm not you want, like, I'm using to catch crews. And I feel like I've been tolerating it, tolerating, tolerating, and it's, it's up to here, and I just feel like I'm not going to be embarrassed on TV. And I wish you knew me outside of this. 
And the conversation got to a particular point where Tolin the Badge was actually Terry. And at some point, I began to feel for the fact that you're forcing yourself on this guy. This guy doesn't really like you. No, T T T E R I S E. From my own perspective, women are very emotional, men are very, very logical. Prince doesn't want her, but she's still trying to see if the relationship is going to work at her own pace and at her own speed, which is a faster one than Prince's. And this is not working for Prince. And my own advice to Tolani Bach would be to free the guy. Next to my dish is going to be Tricky T. Tricky T got drunk last night. Now I really do not know the quantity of drink Tricky T had. But at the end of the day, this guy got so drunk that it was Dorothy that talked him in bed. And the guy was really saying rubbish. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go! Tricky, come out! Sorry, I'm out. I'm out. Oh yeah, let's go. Are you wearing I'll, anything else? I'll just my body and wear my, my, my bed. No! Wear your boxes to sleep. Let's go. I'll be cold in the night. No, I my microphone, my microphone. It's with me. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, thank you. God damn. Guess what? My mom is actually with me right now. She's like, shh, my son, you fucked up. She's sleeping. You done fucked up. She's sleeping, Tricky. Oh, Get up. Fine, thank you. Tell Lucy I love her. She's my girl. Yeah, Lucy loves you too. Ooh, this is so good. <laughs> Wait, wait. See, your mic is here, just right beside your pillow. Okay, let me hold it so I can talk to you from afar. No, no, I'm go I'm, I'm stepping out for a bit. Like, no. What? Yeah, I was talking inside the bed. No, I'm talking to you. I don't want to sleep, I'm awake. Shh. I'm trying to open it for a little longer. Yes, I'll, I'll come back. Just and later. Your lips, your lips, your lips. Yeah, yeah. You're very kissable. Are, are you aware? Yes, I am aware. You are so, so kissable. I think Dorothy is that one person you should have in your life, either as a girlfriend or as a mother or as a sister or as a friend that's going to really look out for you. She really looked out for Tricky T last night and made sure the guy didn't misbehave beyond the way he should, tucked him in bed and made sure the guy went to bed to sleep. <laughs> Tricky! Fuck you, Nicole. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll not shoot the video for you again. Fuck you. I, I will not shoot the video for you again. Uh, <laughs> Man. Lucy, you're a good girl. Shut sleep. Fuck. You need to sleep, fam. No, I'm not still awake. I'm very awake. My eyes are open. I had a hot shower. I'm so awake. Dear Jesus, I'm so sorry. I done messed up. I done messed up. But I'm sorry, Lord. I'll make you better tomorrow. I really am sorry. I didn't mean this. So I didn't drink. Finally on my gist, I'm going to talk about V. I do not know what V is up to, but I could hear in the conversation that whenever she's trying to cook, she tries to put a lot of pepper in the food so that people who have ulcer will not be able to eat the food. I don't know what kind of wickedness that would be. You try to cook food, but because you know a lot of people try to eat, so you want to put a lot of pepper in the food so that people won't eat the food so that it can go around. I will call that wickedness. <laughs> Personally for me, I think News Persona is what is trying to make up for V's bad attitude and of course we're going to see how this is going to play out in the long run. I hope Biggie addresses this issue and make sure that it doesn't happen again in the house. Thanks for watching guys, please if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells and guess what? You get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram on Twitter and of course on TikTok and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time I come away very soon, it's bye for now.